and that is the first one ever. It's just that God of Wars had a different camera angle and they went to this type of to, to this camera angle that which it looks like rise. That's all they're saying. So when people take it out of their feelings, it's no different than when I say shit about Persona 5 being niche. You know, people think that's a bad word or something. I don't I don't you, you, you do know if Persona 5 is niche, then like everything on Xbox is niche because Persona 5 is about to sell close to three million, right? It's all, it, it can sell three million, but it's on it's on two platforms. It might be on three if it goes to the PC. So it's so you're talking about over a hundred. But I'm saying million. most. You're talking about a hundred and forty million consoles, and it only sold three million. Come on. So bro. how anyway. come Quantum Break didn't sell? That was on multiple machines. Quantum Break, Quantum Break sold over two million. I mean, no, so it, it didn't. Yeah, it did. How many? How much did it sell then? Quantum Quantum how Break sold two million. How much did it sell then? Tell me. Look how this up real quick. Last I heard, it was struggling. Uh, to hit okay, where, where, are you, where, where are you going to look at that and see that at VG charts? Because no. everybody, even PlayStation fans say they don't see it on VG charts. So anyway, let's get to the point. All right. Well, where, where did you see that it sold three million? I didn't say three million. You two said million. three million. Yeah, I said it sold around two million. Yeah. But where did you see that? <clears throat> yeah, from information from people. But anyway, so from who? <laughs> Well, this, uh, I need receipts, K Mega. No, no, the receipts. I need you to show the receipts where I said I'm looking for them. I'm looking for where I said something about the jump button. Okay, so check it out, right? So, from what the developers have been saying from the get, I said this on GRG and everything. It was like, look, man, this the guy said you. We're, it's like soccer. The fighting is going to be like soccer. You know, where you build up to a moment, and like soccer, it's now everybody's just scoring all the time. It's basically you get to that special moment to where the fighting in the game is going to be rem reminiscent to soccer. I thought it was a stupid statement, but he said it, right? So now you're hearing that the game is going to, th that they was inspired by The Last of Us, which is cool. All right. That's why you got the little kid. Then you're going to be, that's going to be like Dark Souls or like Bloodborne. You already have a game like that. You know what I'm saying? That's what you already got. Bloodborne. Neo is already on the floor. So why would you want to change? Wait, 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 wait a minute. I'm not trying to cut you off, but uh, no, you Corey, Corey Barlow, you know the director of the game. He did say in the uh, recent developer diary that he made it a, a point him and the uh, you know gameplay team to not mimic Dark Souls. You know he don't want because you, like you said, Dark Souls already exists, so there's no reason for this game. You know, mimic Dark Souls. The controls are almost identical. I'll agree with that, but. I don't think it's really gonna play like Dark Souls when it come out. Though. Well, I, I, well, yeah, I feel you, and it's, and it's going with. It. I'm, I'm cool with the RPG elements. I love RPGs, but to me, it's like it took away the essence of what God of War was. It's just like with Halo Five. A lot of people, a lot of diehards of Halo, were pissed off at first about the whole new change because of the, you know the, the the power the power buttons you can run now and all of that. But when you go back and you play the older Halos and then you play Halo Five. It's a total difference, and it's and it's a benefit. So this could work for uh, people for that's a fan of God of War of this new God of War. But as for me, I'm just not feeling that because I love God of War for what it was: fast action, hack and slash, and it already had a deep, rich story talking about Zeus and all that. I played them all, and I love them. And I just hate that this game is going this direction when PlayStation already has uh, an abundance of these games already coming. You see what I'm what saying? Are, so that's what, my RP part. what RPGs do you like? Uh, uh, well, I'm gonna get Nooney. I'm gonna get Nooney Cooney uh, Monday. Um, I like. Uh, I'm a big fan of Final Fantasy. Uh, I have Persona. I have Persona. I have Persona three, four, and I have a uh, Persona five. Uh, haven't beat. Have I only played like maybe about two hours of Persona so five. What, what ones have you beat recently, though? Uh, what RPGs? Well, I just got finished beating The Witcher. Uh, just about. Uh, about a month and a half ago, I put in 360 hours into it. Um, I got like, that, right? I put it. I've got about a. Uh, Damn, got, BG, this guy beat The Witcher, and you haven't, man. You looking, looking oh, suspect. Man. Man. Oh man! No, anyway, so I, no, just, just the fact, like, look, man, it's like, <laughs> it is what it is, man. I wish I had more time to game because of my work schedule, because I don't really have a work schedule. Hey, but you gotta spend less time podcasting, more time gaming, man. Hey, man, I'll be getting, <laughs> man, man. Look, if people, if <laughs> that's people, all you got to do. Oh uh, no, look, listen to this. I'm, I'm usually be gaming while I'm doing podcasts. So come on, bro. And I don't do that many podcasts. So. It is what it is. Uh, I don't know about that, man. Yeah, you got to multitask. Somebody had sent me a message. I wanted to ask you a question. I was going to start streaming, but I figured I'm just recording. Just to give you a heads up. <laughs> yeah. I'm, oh, yeah. the podcast still down? It's, it's, it's like yeah, inconsistent no. like as hell. Yeah, I, I can't. Yeah, I can't. I can't go back live. Hey, my wife, when are they, my wife um, completely dropped. When are they coming to give you um, your internet? 
Uh, tomorrow. Oh, uh, <laughs> Ross, what you got? What you got? It's Verizon. It's Fios. Oh, what's the speed? What a like. Uh, That's a gig up, right? 150 over. Oh, 100. Oh, yeah, 150 down up. And, I mean, 150 down, yeah. 150 up, right? Yeah, yeah, so I'm. I started recording because, like, yeah, the was, joint was rapping, so I just started recording as soon as, like, yeah, it was a rap. All right, you can just edit this on the end. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna just add it. I'm gonna just add it the second part. Um, so he was at like an hour and forty minutes. All right. I only got one more question though. Uh, that that one time you said that um, Microsoft not having any games lined up for a year is a problem rather than a microsoft problem i need you to explain those words all right cool um basically i'm saying for and well and somebody misquoted that what i said is that if people have a problem with xbox games then that's a you problem that's got nothing to do with like for what i like is is for what i like for what other people may like or don't like i'm not trying to convince them to not like it i think a problem with a lot of xbox fans is that they are too uh, reactionary to what other people say. And to me, I think that's the stupidest shit ever because PlayStation fans, they, they just like what they like and they tout it, they love it, they support it. But the difference where I do support uh, the, some criticism from the Xbox community is that they, they stay on it. You know what I'm saying? PlayStation fans kind of look like lost cattle out there. Times. They just take some shit and they just uh, run with it. I don't agree with that because Sony fans demanded for better games and they got better games. Well, Microsoft good. fans said if you don't like it, that's not our problem. That's so not true whatsoever. Like that's not so. That's not true whatsoever. You just said if you don't like it, that's fine. No, 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 no. I said if there are people that don't like it, then that's that's a you problem, especially for just. I don't. I don't think it's a you problem when, though, because it's a Microsoft problem. Because it's Microsoft's problem to provide the consumers with things <clears> that they do like. So okay, if you don't when, like it. That is a Microsoft problem. Okay, cool. But when Xbox, when Xbox was giving out the games and PlayStation, was when giving was out Xbox indies. giving out games? <laughs> all, all for the next four games. <laughs> no, when they weren't. When PlayStation, yes, they were. When PlayStation was talking games. about, they was caring about the little guy. They maybe, were all about maybe these, indies. Maybe some of these games. Come on, bro. What, what do you mean? Name some of the Go games. Ahead. You got, you got, you got Gears of War. You got, uh, of course, you got Recore. You've got, not you got Recore Halo, was garbage. You got, you got, look, see, that's again, that's a you. Gar- it was garbage. Like it game, didn't sell. It and it was, and it's not made by my, and that's not made by Microsoft. Games, and now you over here trying to overtalk. Recore look, is not <laughs> made by Microsoft. You got Halo. You got Halo Wars too. It doesn't matter. Look, stop <laughs> trying to officiate too. shit. Like, come on, Halo Wars two is dope. <laughs> Hey, I'll, sh- I, I, I'll tell you this right now. If anybody go on this panel, go out there and play Halo Wars 2, you will enjoy it. I don't play RTS for the hand. Okay. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not into okay. RTS. It's like that. But you, can, but you can get into an RTS on the P- it's on the PC with the play. I don't, again, I don't play RTS for the hand. That's cool. Oh, but but it's that's, funny that's, to me how you're talking about indies and yet you name two indies. That's not an indie. That's not an indie. Look Recore is an indie. Recore, Recore is an indie. Halo Wars it's... 2 might as well be an indie. Those games are, are no, quality, the quality, the quality of the CGs, the story, the, the combat system for the art. Wait, how, but how, why is Recore what? indie? Is it indie because it was made on an independent it's, like uh, engine? Uh, it's like made a, by a, an independent developer. Yeah, it's made by an independent developer. Mm-hmm. I get it. Because the IP is owned by Microsoft. But it, but it had, yeah, but it's also it's also have a higher budget than an indie. You know what I'm saying? So, so Still that's the reason why it is. Wait, wait, is The Witcher 3 an indie? Wait, Witcher no, 3 is no, The Witcher is not an indie. indie. I, I, I consider The Witcher 3 from, an indie. From, 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 your, from your logic, that it's is. It's owned by an independent it's, studio. It's yeah, made by an independent studio. studio. But, that, but that's Cuphead, not a. That's Cuphead, Cuphead will be considered an indie game. Yeah, uh, you probably could put it in that category, but it had a bigger budget, so. But it's, it's still not, an indie game. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it's not. An indie. Look, I no, mean, budget, 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 yeah, budget, budget doesn't. Budget doesn't matter. matter. It just mean independent. independent. Yeah, it just mean independent. Star Citizen is an indie game. Yeah. It has a bigger budget than any AAA game. Okay, in but it history. got funded. But it got funded by Microsoft. It's not. These guys got an independent, uh, independent developer. It has to. I mean, but, that's why they do Kickstarters and. Sh- well, they, well, Sony has funded independent games. Before. Exactly. Journey's, right. right. Journey's, well, I Journey's, I, con- Journey's, I Journey's considered an independent game, and Recore's, I, I think, is an independent game. Yeah, they they consider oh, they still consider independent. Look, look, I, I don't. I mean, that's fine. It, that, that's that's really apples and oranges. I mean, if you want to say that it's an indie, it's an indie. But you was asking me a question about games. Yeah, I, I mean, you you, were, list you, you said earlier that, that that PlayStation was nothing but indies, but now they I'm were. Not, they but, were. Okay, look. When there's an article, why don't you go look at the receipts? Look at the receipts, and you'll see. Where the articles went, that saying sparse was good mm-hmm. for PlayStation because they didn't they have big budget. Good. 
uh, they did. There was articles out there. Go look it up. Go check the receipt. And so, so basically, there was a problem and fixed the problem. Microsoft didn't admit they, anything. They had, they had a, they a did, bigger problem. They had a smart solution, man. What they did is that they went and uh, they, they it was smart that they moved their big titles to the beginning of the year. That was something that I was hoping Microsoft would do instead of bringing their games at the end of the year to clash with what was going on. Also, another smart thing that Sony was doing because they got those marketing deals, they didn't want to clash with the marketing deals that they already paid for. So they wanted to move those games up there. But well, BG's also, been saying that for a while. Yeah, but that was a smart move. But they also, they did another smart move too because PlayStation fans didn't really trip on it, is that they delayed their games and made and now have an abundance of games coming out right now, exclusives that's coming out. That's why we have this so-called issue that we have right now because of what happened with Scalebound and Crackdown Fable, 3 Crackdown, and, and Fable Legends. Everybody delays games. Nintendo delays games, well, Microsoft delays games, the, Sony delays games. The Scalebound thing really hurt Microsoft in the standpoint of where they were like, where, every, where there was people that were saying that they were or the game was gonna be trash regardless. I thought it was a smart move for Phil to cut the cord on that game. If they weren't ready, they weren't ready. Now, I felt if they were going to let him... Wait, wait, um, you said it was smart for them to cut scale down? Why? Because if you're spending money into this game and you gave them a deadline and they couldn't meet that deadline, and we see all the games that Platinum has come out with. It's crazy. Like, they they came out, they got this one... Uh, open world game that's coming out that's going to be on PC. It looks pretty dope. But uh, Crackdown misses deadline. Well, if that's fine if the, if the game look, I mean, look how many, see if Thieves misses deadline. It it did and so did and so and so did uh uh so you got Crackdown, you got Sea of Thieves and then you also had um um can't think of the other game right now that I was State just going to say. Uh State of Decay. I but, think that game misses thing. deadline as well. It, it did, but but I mean there was a normal of Sony games that missed the deadline. I mean, you look at The Last Guardian, you also look at uh, but Sony but, didn't cancel any games this generation. Yeah, they did cancel the game. The game that actually is well, Rise of Zero Dawn. That game was going to be another game beforehand, and then they scrapped it, and then yeah, they changed it up. So well, repackaging I mean, is not canceling it completely. It's but they, repackaged. But they canceled it. It was a game. It was a totally different game. It just had some similarities. But they canceled it. I mean, that's that's a fact. Repackaging a, a project is not canceling. It's okay. repackaging it. Okay. Nintendo I, Nintendo repackaged Metroid Prime three to four times before it became Metroid Prime. It doesn't mean okay, they canceled but, Metroid Prime. There's been delays though as well. So the fact of it is, is that look, PlayStation has had their delays. They're having the success right now because of the delays that they did have. Now all these games look like they just all come out once. That was a good strategy by PlayStation. Nobody's knocking that. Xbox it wasn't a strategy out. though. Their games are ready when they're ready. No, well, that's cool. But that's another thing too, is that Xbox made, you know, kill a field. Probably had a problem, didn't know, then he admitted what that did himself. You call it? Call him Killer Phil. Killer Phil. I, 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 I love Killer what he's doing. Don, 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 Don Matrick. Oh my God, Don, these guys. Don Matrick. Hey, my boy Z. He, 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 he loves Don Matrick. But I think Don Matrick was the problem of what we have with the Xbox One right now. He damn near, he damn near. In my opinion, Don Matrick got you games like Titanfall. Don Matrick. So Don Matrick canceled uh, games from Obsidian. He canceled a, a great RPG that could have been on the Xbox One because that's where Xbox is really lacking is, is a, a great RPG. Hopefully, that's we'll because you guys don't like RPGs. I love RPGs. That's look. Oh. People might call me an anomaly, but the fact of well, it is, if you like, if you like RPGs, you're playing on console. No, I, I play. Look, the 360 had tons of RPGs. This is, is Nino Cooney on the on the Xbox. It's on PC. Where I'm going? Where I'm going to buy it Monday? I'm just uh, saying. You got if you like RPGs, you got the wrong. It's Persona no, on the I, Xbox. I like, okay. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be on. It's probably gonna come to PC. But I already have Persona on the four. Persona's so not coming to PC. I hate to break that to you. Uh, Atlas, I don't know. Atlas. Atlas, Atlas already said. Atlas already said when? it's not. When? When people are trying to emulate it. Uh, yeah, they said. Yeah, people. But well, look, if they don't put the game out on PC, people on PC is gonna emulate the hell out of it. You yeah, know, you that's, know that's gonna happen. That's, so. when they, that's when they told people that it's never coming. Mm. At, I can't even tell. When's last, Jack? When's the last time Atlas even put a game on PC? Oh man, I don't even remember, dog. They don't put games on PC, yeah, yet, Mega. So, well, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, well, how, yeah. Look, it everything is changing, and look, these games need more money than possible than ever. You know what I'm saying? These these games they cost a lot more money. And so, therefore, they're going to want to generate more revenue. So they got to go to different platforms. That's why uh, I don't think so. I mean, it's uh, sold okay. extremely well on its own as it is. Nintendo is the only company out of the big three that that has a strong exclusive uh, 
a fan base that will that will support their game. Period. You don't th- you don't think Sony does? No. Look he- look at Hellblade. Look at Hellblade. When, when Hellblade's Sony fans not a, Hellblade's Hellblade's not a well, Sony fan. game though. Come on, man. That was and, an and, and, and it's, all, it's all well though. Hellblade's not made by Sony. Okay, look, man. You so and look, an exclusive. It's all PC. And and hold on, oh, heartache. Come on, bro. I know you ain't one of those people that uh, that. Uh, it was that on PC. It's that. not exclusive. It's it not it exclusive. is exclusive, man. Look, PC is no. an open platform. I know you guys exclusive. don't believe that. It's me, not you, me, if it's me, not on the Xbox, on the console space. I'm meaning for what it's exclusive. Well, if, console, yeah, it's console exclusive. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. On the console space, if it's, in, I, I never, I never jumped into that battle because when PlayStation fans was jumping out because games was going on, uh, the PC, oh, you lost exclusives. That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard because if that game's not on the PlayStation Four, then it's still an exclusive to so, Xbox Plus. So also is it exclusive? Xbox, be, is Microsoft it exclusive because Windows. it's not on the Switch? What? Say it again. It's a game exclusive if it's on Xbox and PlayStation, not Switch. No, because it's on it's on the console. It's basically that it doesn't. That, but that doesn't. But the no, Switch it's is on not more a than console. One, it's on more than one. The platform. Switch isn't a console, though, okay, Mega. Oh, some people say that they call it a console. <laughs> they call it a console. They call it a console. See, I mean, it's that, a hybrid. Look, come on, mul- man. <laughs> it's called multiple platforms. PC is a platform. If it's on multiple platforms, it's not an exclusive. It's just cut and dry. It's not hard. I, I, I'm not following that. I'm not. I'm not co-signing that, bro. I'm just. You're not. not co- what is multiplat? No, a- what does multiplat stand for, then, Kamega? What the hell? Multiplat. Multiplat is where it's on all platforms. No or more. It's more not, than one. No. Okay, no. Right, look, multiple okay, then, plat. Because then, it's not on the Switch. Okay. Then more games. There's more and more games that's coming from that's on the PlayStation Four that's coming to Xbox. I mean, it's going to uh, the PC. And so you're telling me because those games that aren't that because they're they're going to the PC, they're you're not ex- going in an entirely different direction. What does no, multiple I'm platform I'm, mean? I'm just stating the same thing. What does multiple platform mean? Multiple platform means to okay. So what? Okay, so if it goes to a, a cell phone, what does that, that, multiple platforms okay. mean? Look, 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 look. <laughs> let me break this down to you again. I'm not one of your children, and I'm damn sure not anybody else that you could just talk crazy to. I'm just you're, asking you're the you, answer. what does I'm multiple platforms the answer, mean, sir? I'm giving you the answer that you, that you're asking for. Basically, is that look if you if you're looking at a game going to the going to a cell it's, it's going to a cell phone game. Isn't that a different uh, a, a, that's isn't that a different space? It's a different platform. It's, yes, it's different see, you're platform. getting it, okay, man. No, 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 no. But I'm saying, I'm saying that. But, yeah. but I'm saying in the console space. I'm not talking about everything it's, else. It's like it I'm doesn't talking. say multiple consoles. It says multiple platforms. So it's this not is a multi-console game. It says this is where multiple platforms. Now, what okay. is a platform? Let's get let's get down to the basics. What's a platform? <laughs> What's a platform, K Mega? Okay. I'm talking about the console space. Right yeah, well, that's to. it's not called multi console game. It's called multi platform game. Okay, but listen, you're talking about PC. That's you talk about games that's going to the PC, and then and when you're talking about games that's been made or been funded by Sony or Xbox or Nintendo, whatever. Even though there's not a lot of Nintendo games, if not any, I don't think that's going to the PC. But it's no. also. Okay, they, but, their games are dead exclusives, and that's why their system no, sells. No, not not by your logic. Because what about Pokemon Go when other little uh, Mario Pokemon and all those Go games is not exclu- Pokemon Go is not on the Switch. Okay, but you're going to have a Pokemon game that's most likely going to be on the but Switch. Pokemon Go and Mario. a Pokemon those are two different games. Though. Oh, okay, okay, but what about Mario? Mario's on cell phones. Is too. is is Mario Odyssey on a cell phone? It'll eventually get out there. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it will. <laughs> I'm just saying, oh my look, bro. God, man, bro, it's come on, on a cell phone, K okay, oh, Mega. Listen, listen, it's not Mario is not on a cell phone. Is Mario Odyssey on a is cell phone? Is Mario on a cell phone? Yes. yes. They got Mario Run on a cell phone. Mario, Mario Run that, and Mario, Mario Odyssey, Odyssey are two different it's, games, K Mega. No, okay, that's still it's still the property of Nintendo. We're and not talking. Your logic, look, see, look, you're getting see, it wrong. We're not talking. No, about I'm not getting properties. it wrong. Breaking, I'm telling we're you, we're talking about multi. We're talking about multi-platform games, not multiple properties. Then nothing has exclusives. Then, if that's the yes, case. it does because no, Mario okay, Odyssey. Your logic, it doesn't. What because are you no talking about? Hold on. Hold on. Where, where, yeah, this doesn't make any no. sense. Mario, Mario Odyssey, Odyssey is, is not, not on exclusive? anything but Switch. Horizon Zero Dawn is not an exclusive. Oh, it's an exclusive. You just said there's no exclusives then. No, 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 no. What I said from what Bond's logic is that nothing is really going to be nothing is exclusive because that's where we're getting. I mean, look at PlayStation now. You have Uncharted. 
you, then uh, you have Uncharted. You have uh, I think Dark Soul. I'm not the uh, Bloodborne is is now put on there. You have up. Uh, you got some PlayStation Four games that's now on PlayStation now on PC. You can so make that. You can make that argument. Yeah, but that that's, I think that's the stupidest argument in the world. I think that look, if there's different platforms, yes. But if those games are not on the console space, because that's where PlayStation fans are, it's or not Nintendo called fans. multiple console game. It's okay. called multiple platform game. We'll just agree to disagree. Huh? You're, I mean, you're, you're wrong. It's not called multiple console. It's called multi-platform. Okay, yeah, multi-platform. But from what is from what the argument is from fanboys is that if the game goes to the PC or if it it's goes not somewhere else, if I can play on not another ex- platform, not ex- Cuphead. Not Does, Persona is, uh, who 5. Who owns Windows? Who owns Xbox? Uh, Cuphead is on Steam. Cuphead is on Steam. Steam is what? An app. It's not its not its own platform. It's, a, it's an app. <laughs> what? Huh? what? Steam is a app. Hey, y'all guys have a good night. Y'all guys have a good night. Can Steam, no, hold on. Real talk. Is, can Steam be played without, without an operator? <laughs> Steam is the biggest <laughs> gaming platform on the planet. What are you talking oh about? God. Listen to what I'm saying. Steam is basically an app. It needs an OS. No, Steam is a Unless platform. Unless you get a Steam machine, Steam machine is dead. Nobody want to buy it. Hey, y'all Steam have a good night. I got to go. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> this is out of control. Steam, in its article of its creation, mm-hmm. it says Steam is a digital distribution platform Okay. developed by Valve. Not an right. app. It it's is a platform. Does it not need an op- operating system for it? Yeah, it can. It is compatible with Windows, OS X, Linux, and Steam OS. What is Linux? What is Linux uh, an operating? Oh system? my God! What is the? Oh my God! <laughs> you ask what is Linux? Oh wow! <laughs> All right. So he, he did not just ask what is Linux, did he? No, I know what Linux is. I'm asking you. I'm like, so in, Linux is not an operating system? It is. Okay, that's what I'm saying. What? Oh, my goodness, bro. It's, it's not that difficult. Look, we can, like Apparently I said. Apparently it is because right? you don't know what multiple platforms mean. No, I know what it means from your standpoint, but I'm talking about from a fanboy standpoint. Well, unfortunately, we're not fanboys like you, Omega. I'm not a fanboy. Uh, okay. I'm not a fanboy. I play, I, if I was a fanboy, I would just own one particular console and that's it and just... And this say talk about other things that I'm this that I don't play. Wow, yeah, this dude so calls Steam an app. Uh, it basically is in a sense because if, you know what I'm saying if you talk about no, a Steam it's machine, not an then app it's because not. Steam, because Steam, does, ha- Steam but, does have Steam does have an app on the cell phone and you cannot play games. Imagine that. Okay. I have uh, I'm looking at the Steam app on my phone right now. Right, I, I got Steam on my, I, got, I got Steam on there too as well, but I'm saying for without an operating system, Steam is not gonna function. So what were you? What was the point you were making about Cuphead Steam then? What? When when Hard Eight said that Cuphead is on PC, you're like, who has it on Windows? What, what was the point of that that statement? No, that part. Hell, I don't know because you just went completely left. Go ahead and ask that again, Hard Eight. Hard Eight left. Oh, okay, cool. So. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he pieced out after you just went stage left. Nah, man, that's what you want to say, man. I'm I'm looking at it from a standpoint of like, look, if you if that's who, that's where gaming is going anyway, from your standpoint, because game. Keeps Babe, going, you like, talking about? G, you have other games that's going on. Uh, G's never been matters. exclusive. I never said that it was, but I'm saying wait, that. Wait, it, how come it isn't? Because of the game, because it's going to go eventually to the PS4. <laughs> No, the correct answer is because it's already on PC. Oh my goodness. Okay, we look again. PC, the PC, the game is running off of PC, but PC is a it's an open platform. Anything you can do anything on a PC, man. So if it's cross play that lets you play between two different platforms, how does a game not be? How does a game have cross play and also be exclusive? I need to hear this one. This is gonna be good. Because it's working off of servers, and and whoever owns those servers are the ones that's it's working off of yeah. servers. So I mean, look, man, mean it's working on servers. You can okay. download it natively on your computer. You can download it na- natively, but of course, you got to if you're gonna okay, like for instance, with Fortnite, right? Fortnite is going is uh, PlayStation does not want 
uh, Epic and them to, to work that out. That has to nothing do to do with what we're talking about. Yes, it does. Yes, yes. See, now you're trying, to, you're trying to spin it. You I said, to spin how it. does crossplay do two it. platforms, but you're the game is exclusive? It. You're trying to spin it, bro. You're Answer the question. It. You're trying to spin it. Again, let me make my Look, point. How can I spin a question I answer, I asked you? Okay, again, you're trying. You're spinning this into something that I'm not even trying to touch on that aspect really too much. I'm just saying basically. I asked look, you a simple fan, question. I'm, if a game from a has boy's perspective, from a fanboy's perspective, if the, you, if they're saying that Xbox has no games because their games are going to platform, yo, we did, I platform, did not even bring that up. Rewind. Uh, that was the. You're first, going in a completely point different direction. That, that was the whole point. You're in a completely up. different direction. No, no, no. Uh, no, no. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's go back to the very beginning. I asked you. If a that game has crossplay between two different platforms, how can it be exclusive to one? Again, if a per okay, this is like uh, it's just like with Minecraft, right? Minecraft is owned by Microsoft, right? It's still a multi-platform it, game. No, 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 no. It's owned by who? Microsoft. But it's still a multi-platform game. It's owned by Microsoft, is it not? Yes or no? Yes, but it's still a okay. multi-platform so game. Therefore, so, but yeah, okay, you can say it's a multi-platform game, but who's making the most money out of it? Who's making That's the money irrelevant. out of it? That's irrelevant. It's still a multi-platform uh, game. Snap, man. Okay. So, look. hold on. You're telling me that Minecraft is ex- You're telling me so, Minecraft is exclusive? No, I'm saying that Minecraft, look, the, for the point I'm making is that who owns that property, right? Okay, if you're talking about if if you're talking about crossplay, is because it can jump on from the PC to the to the Xbox, and that's not and that's not exclusive. If that game is owned only yeah, Street Fighter is not exclusive. You can ask crossplay. Street Fighter, Street Fighter is exclusive to the No, it's not. It's on the PC, as I'm saying, from the console space. Why do you keep on trying to bring up <laughs> other platforms? Oh, oh what you call it? You called it a platform. That's right. Multiple plat. Thank you. It, okay, Thank you, you said, okay, 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 we're talking about Thank exclusives. You. You're talking about that. platforms. Yeah, but you're talking about, I pla- appreciate I'm talking about that. exclusives. You're talking about platforms. I'm talking about from the standpoint of the consoles. You're not, you, you still it's jump. It's not called a multi console game. More convoluted than what it was. It's what's called, called multi platform game, okay, Mega. Okay. Right. Okay, you yeah, made your point, BG. We've already been over time. I'm about mm-hmm. to get back to what I need to do. This dude just saw some nonsense. <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> uh, is that it? Is that the show? Is that it? I, I think we've already. Oh, I, I don't even know. Is BG even here anymore? No, BG said we're gonna go do something. We're not doing an after party because BG internet messing up. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. recorded okay. just in case, well, so right, we might guys. use this story. I'll catch upload. you guys later. Hey right, man, right, nice, thanks. nice to meet you, K. Thanks, man. Nice to meet you too, bro. No doubt, no doubt. All right, man. All right, y'all. Peace.